All right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. And uh, we're just going to do a quick lesson and uh, pretty much just about maturity, okay? You know, in this truth, um, you got to constantly grow, okay? You can't be stagnant, all right? Um, you know, you got to, uh, you know, self um, examine yourself, all right? You know, you have to, uh, you know, improve on, you know, your flaws. You know, you got to basically critique yourself, okay? And that's um, that's something that we just must do. And we pretty much got to do it daily, all right? You should really be uh, looking yourself in the mirror every day and saying, like, you know, what can I improve on, all right? And uh, we'll just start off with uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, what is this, 13, and um, I'll start at uh, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. All right, and that's what you uh, do when uh, when you uh, uh, get into this truth. Okay, you got to put away those child uh, childish things. Okay, such as being a procrastinator. All right, um, you know you got to constantly be um, communicating with the you know your brothers. Okay, all right. Um, I'm trying to think of a uh, have a better diet. Mm. What else? Um, man, there's so much. Man, we can keep going on and on. All right. You know, ultimately, you know, following the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, there's just a lot of things that we you know we gotta, uh, you know, uh, improve on. We gotta, you know, become, uh, uh, you know, adults in this. You know, so to speak. All right. Ooh, can, can I you back know? you up? I got Because it's a lot. Can I say this? Because really, when you get into this truth, you become a real man. The, this uh, society really teaches you what? To, what they even had that, uh, that Jay-Z had that song, uh, Forever Young. They teach you to be a, ch a child, man. Okay? You know, play video games. You know, be, uh, you know, uh, in a sense, sleep with a bunch of women. Do, you know, don't uh, worry about what happens. Give you know, Yeah, give in to your lust. All right? You know, do drugs. You know, just party all the time, man. Everything's a good old time. Take no accountability for your actions. That's a huge thing in this place. Blame everybody else, but don't take accountability of your actions for what you do. All right? Yeah. And uh, hey, when, hey, us being in this truth, we, we have we have a whole different way of, of, of moving. You know, because hey, this this uh this, these scriptures basically teach you how to how to how to be royal, how to walk with integrity, how to be, you know, like the brother was going into how how to actually be a man. You know. And, 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 and being the sons, uh, if you want to be counted as the sons of the, the living power, the creator of all heaven and earth, we it, it's a whole different vibe and a whole different attitude we got to, uh, um, you know, bring forth, you know, opposed to, you know, everybody and in, 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 in how everybody carries themselves upon earth. When people actually look at us, they're supposed to just, like, have this feeling like, man, like, this guy moves so different. Whoa, you know, what is, what is so different about him? You know, what, why, why is that? Because, well, you're not moving like everybody else. You're actually, you know, being, you're chastising yourself. You're being disciplined. You 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 know how to say things, you know, when to say them, when to hold, hold, hold your peace. You know, what actions to do and all that, you know. For example, you're talking about giving into your lust. The scriptures, there's one that says that, that, that uh, a wise man um, hided his folly. Yeah. You know. So hey, hey, knowing what to do in front of people, what to do when, when you know what you could do when you're by yourself and all that, you know, all, all that all that goes into you know uh, uh, growing up, you know. Yep. Can, I, uh, can I get yeah. this real quick? This is Ecclesiastes, chapter eleven, verse ten. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. All right. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'll read it again. Ecclesiastes 11 and 10. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Can I uh, expound? It says, uh, put a... Uh, uh, what does it say? Um, um, yeah, it says, and put away, e away evil from thy flesh. Okay? And that could even be um, things that are, are um, lawful. Can you get that, Shakar, real quick? I forget where it's at, where um, all things are lawful but not expedient. Okay? Because, look, things could be lawful, but are they expedient? And that word expedient goes into profitability. Are these things profitable for you? Okay. You know, like, for instance, uh, you having a bunch of women, is that profitable? Is that wise to do in the society? 
You can do it. It's lawful, but is it wise? Right. Okay? You drinking. You know what I'm saying? If you over drink, is that wise? And Those are just two uh, two things, but there's there's more. Okay? Uh the word the word prudence. When you're prudent is what the ability to what? To uh foresee. To foresee. Uh uh and and uh, this is to foresee and to basically distinguish is what I, is this yeah. is this profitable and of a high moral value. Okay. You know, is is this gonna get me that 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 out of me? If not, then hey, you you don't you don't indulge in it. You know, you you you're temperate in those things. Like the bird said, getting these women, you know, constantly you know just going out and, and every weekend and, and and drinking, getting drunk. You know. You know that yeah, it's not going off, but well, how does that profit you in becoming a better man? How does that profit you in growing in this truth? If it doesn't, then you you have to cut it out. You know, you have to balance it. You have to you know be temperate with it. You know, and hey, hey, every 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 man is different, and some things hey you, you you might have to you know cut off for good. You know, because it might be your your stumbling block. You know, yeah. but hey. We only get get you know only acknowledge that and realize that when we when we examine ourselves you know when we actually have the mentality of growing you know because if you don't if you don't want to grow then you're gonna stay you're gonna you know stay stuck on your ways you know and being in this truth we can get stuck on our ways we we came here to what to to become a new man and a new individual if uh, I'm, I'm an idiot yeah and then I got one to back you up okay. I got one this too. is a uh, this is um, Romans 12 and 2 It says And yep. be not conformed to this world mm. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind That ye may prove what is that good And acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Right so that people may know That this is When they see us They may know that this is how you walk uh, 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 This is how a real man of the Lord walks This is how a real a true worshiper of the heavenly father is supposed to move and act and all that you know when you come into this truth that that's how you we're supposed to mold ourselves and everybody's supposed to be able to know that so they can know like damn this is how you you you, you worship the lord this is how you you know by by keeping the laws and commandments by abstaining from evil you know uh by being temperate keeping your flesh under subjection you know we're supposed to do that uh, give be that example you know but but it, it, in order for us to be that example, we have to what renew our mind, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 let go of the old ways, the way we used to react to things, hey, the stuff that we were, they were that we were into. The brother went uh, went into what a uh, diet, you know, diet diet diet. Hey, diet says a lot about a, a, a person, you know, it shows you that they they care about themselves. They you know all, all that man. It, it, sh it shows it shows you their character, you know, so. You know that, that that's a whole our, our our whole purpose in this man, and, and it starts step by step. You know, you don't just automatically change. You know, you know first you might work on your attitude, then that once you got that unlocked, then you work on your diet. You know, so on and so forth. But it's supposed to be growth. You know, the slow or quick, however the spirit is dealing with you, there's supposed to be some type of growth uh, uh, within us when we come uh, in this truth. You know, right? Con, uh, you got that one scripture? Yeah, I got. It. I got one um, while the brother finds it. This is a Sirach 37 and um, I started at 28. Sirach 37 and 28. And it says, um, actually, no, I'm going to start at 27. This is Sirach 37 and 27. My son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. All right, so basically, you got to see what's good for you, okay? Because as it says here in verse 28, for all things are not profitable for all men. Neither hath every soul pleasure in everything. So, for instance, certain brothers, right? They're able to drink, you know, have a good time, and they're fine. Certain brothers, when they drink, those, you know, basically demons hop on them. And now they start making, you know, uh, uh, unwise decisions. Okay? Maybe they start talking back to brothers. You know, maybe they start, you know, getting into quarrels with, you know, uh, you know these worldly people. Okay? You know, maybe they, you know, start losing patience. You know, though, that's just to name a few things and, and they can't control it. Okay. All right. And then and see every brother, you have to figure out what, what what's, you know, uh, good for you and what's bad for you. 
all right? Certain brothers that maybe they can't be around women. Maybe that, you know, um, distracts them, okay? Or maybe they spend too much time with their family. That distracts them. Uh, distracts them. So they have to, you know, separate themselves. It all, uh, see, it all depends on uh, who you are as an individual. I can't tell you what to do. You have to find that out by yourself. And that goes into that self-examination, you know? That's why it's very important to really look at yourself. Meditate. Hey, take some time out of your day if you can. You know, of course, it's not going to happen every day. But, you know, just... You know, uh, frequently, take some time out the day. Go go on a walk by yourself. You know, maybe sit in your room and listen to some, you know, classical music and just meditate. And, and think about, you know, uh, your flaws. Think about what's, you know, profitable for you, etc., etc., man. All right? Um, You got that one scripture? And then reply whatever you have. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 23. Mm -hmm. It says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. That's right. So all things are lawful. All right, but are they wise? Because that, uh, that word expedient goes into basically, you know, profitability, being wise, okay? Are these things going to, uh, you know, benefit you? You know, that's something we have to really ask ourselves. That's why it talks about um, in the scriptures, I think it's in the book of Proverbs, uh, Proverbs, it talks about pondering your steps, okay? Mm -hmm. Ponder your steps. Really think about, you know, uh, uh, the outcomes of uh, every action you do, you know? You have to be a chess player in this uh, uh in this game, so to speak, okay? You can't be a checkers player. Checkers player, things are very simple. It's, you know, you know, one, two, three, you know, ABCs, you know? Chess, you, you really gotta think about it. You gotta calculate every move you do, okay? And that's how we have to walk in this truth, you know? If you make this move to the left, oh, what are the outcomes of that? If I make this move to the right, what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. You really gotta think about it, all right? It says, all things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Mm. That's yeah. right. Are they going to build you up? You know, are they, you know the things you do? Are they really going to build you up? Are they going to help the brothers around you? That's another thing too. Stop always thinking about yourself. Think about the brothers around you. Is this going to be profitable for those men around you? You know, that's something you know you really got to think about. Oh, let's say you do have extra money to gamble, right? I'm going to use gambling as an example. You have let's say an extra five hundred bucks, right? Just throwing that out there, and you you know you start gambling, right? You lose all that money, maybe even more, right? What if you, all of a sudden now you're like, oh, hey, Akim, I'm in a jam. Or what if another brother, he's really in the jam, and he's like, man, I need a couple hundred bucks. And brothers don't even really have it now. Or they didn't, they never had it, and the money you did have, it, it, you can't even help them out now because you gambled it away. You really got to start thinking about this stuff, man. Yeah. You know? All right? That's just, you know, a, a quick example. So really think about it, not only just, it's okay, um, um, don't only just think about yourself, think about those around you, the church, man, you know? Yeah, the body of Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21, If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. All right, so, you know, we got to look in the mirror. And we got to say to ourselves, man, what could I do uh, to improve? You see, I mean, we got to have a to-do list, right? Have this routine, or right? have this set schedule, all right? So that, you know, we could be consistent and we could have growth. Then we also have to have a list of what not to do, things that are holding us back, things that are slowing us down. You got to make this list of things you got to stop doing. This is your stop doing list, you see? All right, we're trying to be uh this uh vessel of honor you know sanctified meat for the lord's use man all right yeah. prepared unto every good work you see so you gotta grow in this thing all right verse 22 flee also youthful lust but follow righteousness faith charity peace with them that call on the lord out of a pure heart man all right we're a body man we gotta grow together you see it, you know, so we have to do our part individually to grow and, and, you know, build up the next brother next to us, man. But constantly, the whole body has to be moving in the same direction. We're not stagnant waters. We're living waters. We're moving, man. And in that move, we're growing. Yeah. Kind of, oh, you got something, Chicago? Mm -hmm. This is Second Corinthians 5 and 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That's why that's why the scriptures always talk about babes, you know, 
uh, 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 you know, being born again. You know, because when we come into this truth, that's exactly what we got to do. You know, everything we thought we knew, everything, uh, what we, you know, we used to do, what we were into, hey, all that changes, man, when you, when you come into this truth, you know? Because, hey, you're supposed to be somebody different. You're not going to be the, the same nigga you, you, you were in the world. Now you got to walk what, with integrity. Now you have standards, you know? Uh, I got something to back you up, Ak. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 4. I'm going to start at 21. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai. Okay, so one day, if you're really, you know, part of this truth, you, you know, you heard the word, you believe, right? So what it says, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, which that word conversation goes into your conduct, mm -hmm. how you used to be, okay? Mm -hmm. That old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on... Um, you put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. All right, so that's what you're supposed to be doing, okay? When you um get into this truth, you got to put off that old man who you uh once were, and you got to put on that new man, all right? That man that's been renewed in his mind, okay? That um that's been washed by this word, okay? His mind's been washed by uh the word. What is that? I think in Psalms 119, how should a man cleanse his way? Yeah, 119 by taking and 9. Heed, uh, unto, um, the word of Yahweh, By taking heed there too unto thy word, yeah. Okay, yep, that's right. If you, if you want to get that shakal, because I think we butchered yeah. it. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Mm. By taking heed there too according to thy word. That's right. So, you know, that that's how a man is going to change, all right? That's how he's going to get, you know, cleansed. By uh, uh, taking heed to the words of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, all right? You know, everything in the, in the Bible, not just one piece or... Certain pieces you like, no, the whole Bible, everything in it. Because if you're gonna uh, really be a, a a follower and believer, you gotta you, you gotta eat the whole roll, as the scriptures talk about. All mm -hmm. right, you can't pick and choose. And see, a lot of people out there, even in the, they say that they're in the truth, they know the Israelites, they're of the circumcision. A lot of uh, people, they still want to pick and choose what they want to follow in the scriptures, and you cannot do that. Right. Even if there's certain things that you, you may disagree with, it may make you feel uncomfortable, you got to accept it. All right? And it is what it is. Because, hey, this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's word. And it's pure, as the scriptures in the book of Psalms, I think the 12th chapter say. All right? It's purified seven times. You know? Well, that's the bitter you have to deal with. You know? Because the bitter and the sweet. It's just the balance, man. That's right. All right? Uh, you got something? Okay. This is Galatians 6 and 15. It says, For in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. You know, that, that, that's, that's what's more, more important. You know, uh, uh, the most important thing is you, what? Us becoming a new creature, us becoming a new man. Because if we're in this and we're still a little nigga, then we never really changed. We never really applied uh, 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 these scriptures, man. You know? You know, you, you you could get the fucking phylacteries, you know, get the garment and all yeah. that, you know. But what's what's the point of of doing all that if you're not changing inwardly? You're not becoming that new man, that new creature. You know, you're not growing in this. You know. That's right. You got something else? Well, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, we just wanted, you know, to uh, you know, touch on this subject about growth. You know, uh, personal growth, pretty much. You know, it's a, there's a lot of things we can, you know. We all can improve on, you know. That's one thing. Uh, um, you know that that's just something that you know that uh, it doesn't matter who you are, from the top to the bottom, right? We all have something to improve on because we're not perfect. We're not going to be perfect until Yahweh Shah comes back, all right? Delivers us and we change, you know, uh, into those new bodies, all right? You know, we get the head upgrade basically. That's when we'll be perfect, but right now we're not. So we gotta, um, you know, what's it talk about? Strive for the masteries. Mm -hmm. Yahweh said, you know, be be perfect as, the Father as your Father in heaven. You know, all right. So you know, we're gonna, uh, uh, you know, try our best to, you know, attain that. You know, to the best of our ability through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Okay. Right. Uh, kind of, um, and hey, step by step, you know. Yeah. Fig figure out what what uh 
what's wrong and then work on one thing once once you already feel like you got that unlock uh, uh, unlock then you move on to the next because if you try to fix everything at once you're gonna bug out you're gonna mm-hmm. keep doubting you know nah just little by little and watch how eventually you'll you, you, you realize how much you've grown from there you know but have that in your mind growth you know grow 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 yeah and identify uh, what you need to grow you know what I'm saying make sure you identify it and you stick with it you know that's right and uh, you know we'll just end it off with that and you know we hope this was an edifying lesson you know and as always you know we're going to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there who will you know continue to push the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and with that you know we're going to say Shalom and of course Ababa Ball Ababa Ball